What's up guys, Mr. Mall 100 here, and uh, I'm going to bring you anime reviews as per the only suggestion that I got on my What Do You Guys Want video. Um, so I'm going to bring you an anime review right now. Uh, the first one I'm going to do, uh, the first anime I'm going to be reviewing is um, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, it's an older anime, but uh, it still gets um, still gets a lot of talk on YouTube and through anime forums and on different anime sites. So um, it's and it's actually pretty well liked, um, which quite frankly surprises me because it's a very confusing, convoluted, and stupid anime. I'm going to be perfectly honest. It was not a very good one. And it's these types of animes that make a lot of people turn away from them. I personally um, am a big anime fan at this point. Uh, a friend of mine only just recently got me back into them and I haven't been able to stop watching them. This one on the other hand made me take a short break. I honestly wanted to do a different anime for my first review, but this one just warrants me turning you away from. It's really that bad. Um, it starts off with a, a, a bit of promise, actually, because in the first couple of episodes, it was um, it was introduced that there would be these crazy alien things called angels that superhuman giant robots piloted by 13-year-olds would have to battle. Seemed like a pretty cool action anime at first. And it went way downhill from there. The story quickly devolved into a convoluted mess of odd religious undertones that turned into overtones, strange morality, like, questioning, um, all kinds of different memory sequences that just made no sense and had no place in the series, but it took up about 50% of the screen time in the series, so suddenly it had a place. Um, it was about 26 episodes long. The series was 26 episodes long. Um, and it, the, the conclusion of the series was an hour an hour and 19 minute movie that was better than the 26 episodes, but it didn't do much to help the series. To further complement the incohesiveness and the absolute mess that the series ended up being, these 13-year-olds, the, the main reason the series devolved into the end of the world um, was because these 13-year-olds couldn't get over their relationships that didn't work out. Like, uh, I remember there was, like, a in the, in the movie, there was this whole sequence where the main character, Shinji, um, was remembering all these breakups and all these females, like, rejecting him. And, I mean, he's 13 fucking years old. There is absolutely no reason that should be his main motivation, the main reason he quits and de decides that, you know what, the whole world can end, I don't even care anymore. I mean, he's 13 fucking years old. I mean... Even if you make the argument like, oh, it's supposed to be an adult anime with crazy philosophical themes and it's supposed to mean something, you just don't understand. Then why was the main character 13? And why were the majority of the m major characters, like the, the three pilots, the ones that made the majority of the important decisions, were 13 years old? I mean, the person who ended up, like, fusing with one of the original angel things and bringing about the end of the goddamn world was um 13 years old i mean that it just doesn't it blows my mind that the this is what this series devolved into what started out as a cool action anime turned into this weird awkward moral piece of shit to be perfectly honest so you know i i didn't i did not like this one and that's this is not me bashing the genre as a whole, this is me saying that you should stay away from this one, and those of you who don't really watch anime on a regular shouldn't use this as a basis to judge the rest of them. To finalize the way I feel about this series, um, there were a lot of points where I would just get angry at some of the things these people were saying, especially since they had said it over and over and over again. I mean, the plot never seemed to move forward in the last half of the series. Everything just repeated itself. 
they would kill an angel, and then they'd be like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then they'd be like, no, you have to. And they'd get back in the goddamn machines, and they'd go fight another one, and the process would just repeat over and over. Until finally, the last two episodes, where the entire time they went through those memory sequences I mentioned before, where they'd just see flashes of people they know and question what they know, and ugh, it was just so dumb. So dumb! In conclusion, I give this series a 4 out of 10, because it's convoluted, stupid, and just, just not a good example of what you should do with a 26 episode series. And like I said, the movie gave it a little bit higher a score just because that movie was actually pretty cool for the first like hour. Not even the first hour actually, more like the first 45 minutes and the final half hour was pretty bad. It was another, like the last half hour of the movie was just another huge memory sequence filled with stupid end of the world crap that just didn't make any sense. Ugh. I feel like I'm repeating myself now. See what this anime does to me? It's bad. Don't watch it. 4 out of 10.